creating 3D characters using layers. I start off by walking you through how I set up my document before any painting is started. I show you the key commands I use on my keyboard. Getting familiar with the key commands allows you to be more efficient in your painting. There's a PDF document supplied that has all the quick key commands I use, so you have quick access to it when you need it. This training course consists of three separate videos over two hours long. Each video is in the Apple QuickTime format. Software Intro this first video walks you through the very basics of Painter. So if you're just beginning your digital painting experience, you'll have a place to begin. I show you how to set up and save your workspace, as well as installing brushes and saving the brushes you use most often. The basics. In this video, I guide you through how I take a sketch already created and set up in Painter. I walk you through the basic layer principles and show you just how powerful layers can be. I found out when I was starting out using the digital canvas as my medium, you could use one layer as your highlights, possibly from the sun, and also having a second layer for your shadows. The possibilities you can do with layers is really endless. Advanced. Everything learned from video 1 and 2 are both applied to video 3. However, a more advanced approach will be used. I take you in-depth in how I light and shade my characters. I supply you with the same files I use in the training course, so you'll be able to follow along. All of the layers will be supplied, so you'll be able to pick apart each piece to get a better understanding of the process involved. If you're just starting out as a digital painter, I highly recommend this course for you. Starting from the basic software operations and key commands to basic painting principles using layers to finally understanding advanced lighting and shading, you really can't go wrong. If you'd like to get started and don't have Coral Painter, you can download the trial version below. If you have Adobe Photoshop, you can use that as well. I supply a blender brush that works great with Photoshop. I hope you will join me and wish you the very best.